so um i don't know if the um it comes across the same to you john but uh i feel like this song is getting poo-pooed quite a lot in the fandom and i've seen quite a lot of people be like oh this is so not qualifying and i feel like people are really underestimating it i've actually got it as a pretty solid qualifier like um, i can only assume that people really the fans rather really don't like this song because it's clearly um pandering to the teenage girl demographic and you know anything that uh is targeted towards teenage girls just gets instantly crapped on <laughs> whether <laughs> fairly or unfairly um uh, i think it's quite a cute song um i think it's quite contemporary as well there's quite a few pop songs around at the moment that sound a bit like this and um yeah i i think this is a quite a nice opener to the semi-final and um yeah uh, yeah i I'm expecting this to be, you know, pretty much, well, 99% of the time, uh, there's, every year there's at least one qualifier that gets the fandom's knickers in a twist, and I think this will be that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm already expecting on the Thursday nights lots of um, tweets along the lines of, how can my fave didn't qualify for this dead? Mm. <laughs> um, wh- what about you, Joe? What do you think? Yeah, underestimate Riley at your peril, I think. Um, the, mo- the most interesting nugget that I can think of to say about this is that um, in what, 65 years or more um, of participating in Eurovision, Denmark has never opened the show before. Oh, wow. (laughs) I can't believe it's taken this long. Yeah, and uh, another interesting thing is that um, Riley's from the Faroe Islands, which is really cool. (laughs) It is. (laughs) Uh, And he's he's also hair gold. (laughs) <laughs> yeah i feel like a lot of young guys are going for that kind of like super curly mop haircut <laughs> at the yeah. moment uh, 